giddies, good morning, good day. It's Adam from Tested. Um, I'm standing next to my beautiful Ryan Nagata made Apollo A7L replica suit, uh, which I have contributed several parts to. Uh, and it is an ongoing process how much I love NASA and how much I love replicating parts from NASA. And Ryan's suit replicas are seriously the best suit replicas out there. Um, and I look at his work and the precision of it and I'm completely astounded. Um, but something else happened when I was looking at his work and admiring it as I was thinking, wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if my connectors were actually made out of aluminum? <clears throat> and so I embarked off camera, I'll admit, on a project to make all the connectors on the front of the A7L suit out of aluminum. And I made everything. I made all five of the main connectors, plus the data connector, plus these two little purge thingy bobs. Um, and I machined them. Here's some pictures of the machining process. Uh, it was a multi-step process. It's the most complicated thing I've ever machined. Um, each part had to do uh, had go through several different setups. I had to make tools to hold the parts in other tools so that I could work post-machining processes on them. Uh, and then <clears throat> I did something that I have not yet done as a machinist, as, scary, a machine operator. I don't think I'll ever be a machinist. That is a genuine skill. Um, but I did something as a machine operator, which I have not done before, which is I sent the aluminum parts that I made and polished to a local anodizing company and had them anodized in the red, the blue, and the gold. And these are the parts in this box. I have not opened them yet. I am freaking out how excited I am to see parts that I made made look all official-like. Um, and so here we are. This is the manifest of the stuff that I sent them. Here is some of the inspiration I sent about what the parts should look like. And in here should be... Oh, okay, let's start with the small bits. <clears throat> these are the gold parts. These are the little switches. Oh, <laughs> That is, I'm seriously freaking out how exciting this is. Um, these parts are the little switches that sit on the side. Um, and some of these I made, the, the shitty ones, some of them I had someone make. Those are the only part I farmed out. But I made all of these little ones. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Look at how gorgeous that is. That looks like I meant to do something. That looks like I knew what I was doing. Okay, here, take a look at these beautiful little pieces. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Okay, so we have, uh, we have the gold parts. Now there are, let's see here, okay. I think these are the two red connectors. Um, a note, there are in fact three different kinds of connect, four different kinds of connectors on the front of the A7L suit. I know it looks like two, data connector and the other connector, but no, no, there is the data connector. And then there is these, this connector. Now these two are identical to each other in that they have two side switches and one button, but they are reversed from this one. They're chiral. So this is one, two, three, and this doesn't have three buttons, it has two. It's four different kinds of connectors on the front of this thing. Yeah, it's like, there's a lot, it was a lot of work to maintain and figure it all out. So the first parts I'm opening are the two mirrored red parts, and here they are. Oh, dude, Aronomy, look at how pretty that is, oh man. <gasps> I feel like this is like a comp this is like a like a, a I don't even know first communion now that's too much <laughs> that's going too far I wasn't raised in a religious household so I have no idea but um, look at how beautiful this is this feels like oh my goodness <gasps> look at that look at how pretty that is oh my goodness oh man oh I cannot freaking wait Oh, so exciting. Okay, so there's those, and then here comes the blue parts. Lovely. Ooh, 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 okay. Right, right, okay, there's these guys. Wow, that's a radically different look for those two things. Oh, and I had some R2-D2 domes made. Uh, at the same time, I just had those made out of aluminum, so I had them anodized. All right. Oh. 
very cool. Okay, there's that. And that. Ah, oh, so pretty. Ah, right, right, right. And, and the, 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 the oxygen purge valve which I also made. And uh, one of these is to send to Ryan Nagata and one is to put on my suit and the third one is for reference. Um, oh man, look at these parts. Oh, oh man, so pretty. Oh, um. The color difference here is a little weird, I must admit. That seems like a, um, seems like the kind of thing that happens from time to time. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not that upset about it. I'm a little nonplussed that the anodizer turned out parts that were so radically different in color. However, Funnily enough, this is not inaccurate to the Apollo suit. In fact, if you look at the, any site about Reboot the Suit, Neil Armstrong's suit, which the Smithsonian has been raising money to restore, you'll notice that the blue on some of his connectors is dark, is lighter than on other connectors. Uh, and it turns out that NASA was using all sorts of different dyes back when they were, when they were making uh, these parts, and some of them didn't do so well in ultraviolet light. Some of them faded. And so there are part differentials, and that is fairly realistic. In addition, I am going to, I made one extra of these connectors in order to be able to do some weathering on it and try some different techniques for making it show its age. Um, because they, like I said, the original Apollo parts really do show their age. But for right now, oh, I really, I'm like beside myself how beautiful these, ooh, how beautiful these pieces are. How well they fit together and how gorgeous Oh, look at that. That's all. I'm now going to spend some time, maybe we shoot a time lapse. I'm now gonna spend some time putting these on my suit um, with correct hardware and screws and everything like that. It's probably gonna take me several hours, but it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> All right, there we go. I now have two parts in, the data connector and one of the right side connectors. And just to show you, look, nobody in the world does better replica work than Ryan Nagata. And this is a magnificent, magnificent, sharp, beautiful piece. And you can just see how much of a difference aluminum, doing it out of actual anodized aluminum makes. Uh, it's thrilling to get to, uh, to get to see this suit kind of fully realized. <laughs> And no, I don't think I'm gonna end up machining these. I think I may hire someone to do that or an opportunity may come up, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the extent I think of my current machining on this suit. But isn't that beautiful? Oh, mm, yay!